Okay, folks, so I got my mega screen here. I'm going to go over when I'm scanning banks or boat docks and looking for fish, and I say I'm trying to get close to catch them in the water column so that they stand out. I'm going to go in detail exactly what I'm trying to do. That way you understand why I'm saying I'm trying to catch them in the water column because these fish are easier to see. So I don't have any fancy graphics. I'm going to just try to make this in layman's terms. This is how I understand it. And this is, and it works for me. So I've got a little fish cut out right here. So what I'm trying to do is when I'm scanning and as, and this is the top of the screen, the, the newest information is coming right here. When I scan over a fish, I'm trying to catch it right here. So you can kind of see kind of what's going on with it. So when I catch it in the slender beam, there's the beam. When I run across it this way, or if I run across it this way, it's going to show up on the screen here like this or like this. Now, if we're talking about crappy, they're not going to look like a long slender fish, not like you would see a striper or a catfish. They're going to they're going to be like a little bright star, like a little spot, more more about like that right there but there's going to be clusters of them they're going to be in brush they're going to be up underneath docks but if they're easy to see if you see it, something in here that's a bright shiny return then that's the water column that's what they're easy to see fish that's and, and i want it the easy way I, so i'm trying to i'm trying not to see the bottom i'm not looking for structure i'm looking for fish so, and now, if I happen to take and go and scan fish, a fish right here, for example. So, there, there's my fish. Here's my bottom. This is my transducer. The boat's coming this direction. Well, I scan a fish right here. Well, it's going to, that beam is going to hit and go back. And it's going to hit the fish. But it's also going to cast a shadow. So there's going to be a shadow on the bottom of the lake. It's going to hit the fish, and then there's going to be a shadow. Now, the, the closer that shadow is to the fish, the closer the fish is to the bottom of the lake. If that fish is way up in the water column, then that shadow is going to be further away because it's going to be, it would be more like line of sight from here to here. Like you're shining a flashlight. Boom, it hits the fish, and then it's going to throw the shadow way back over here. Now, what does that look like on the screen? So it's going to show up on your, your screen when you're looking at it. If it's over ground, it's going to look just like this. You're going to see... Sometimes you can see the fish. Sometimes I have missed fish when it's over the bottom. And this is just a color palette. This is the bottom of the lake. It's the color palette, that tan palette that I like to use. But you could use green, you could use red, any different palette you want. But it's still going to be a bright white return when it hits the fish. And then there's going to be a dark shadow. And if that shadow is closer to that fish, then that fish is close to the bottom. If that fish, if that shadow is way out here and you can see the fish, then that fish is way up in the water column. The thing is, a lot of times you'll see a shadow and you won't ever see the, you won't ever see the fish. And so that's, that's the deal with side scan. That's why I really want to get as close as I can to get the fish in the water column. I'm trying to get them right here or on this side right here so that they're going to show up as long, as long as I get them before they get to this point where this 45 degree angle finally hits the bottom of the lake, that wedge of a triangle right there, if I can pick them up in there, I can find them. I can get them. So that's why you'll typically see me run a 60 feet 
or 80 foot wide to the left and to the right of the boat. If you can, if you span all the way out to 120 feet, then you might can find them, you might can see them. They would have to be a lot of them, but it just takes up pixels and makes sure it condenses everything. Why wouldn't I want to just stand 150 feet? Why don't I want to go 60 feet uh, or 80 feet? I'm scanning something very particular. I'm trying to get close to a dock and a, a dock is typically going to be 30, 40 feet long. Um, so if, I, if I'm scanning, if I'm scanning out to 60 feet, I'm going to see all the way up underneath that dock. If I'm going through an area and I'm just trying to locate brush, not fish, then I'll crank my my width out to 120, 150 feet. Uh, and then once I say, hey, there's a brush pile, well, in a lot of likelihood, you're not gonna see fish on it with it zoomed out like that. So then I'll go back by it, I'll put a waypoint on it, mark it, I'll go back by it, and I'll bring in my, my range so that if there are fish inside that brush, I'm gonna pick them out, I'm gonna be able to find them. So if this helps you out, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It would help me out. God bless. Have a good one, and we'll catch you on the water.